Eu sou a Lígia e uma história vou contar. Histórias sorridentes acabaram de chegar. This is our story time. I'm Lígia and I will tell today our story. I will read in English. But you can also find this story in the, in the Portuguese version as well. Our story today is Dona Cari, a intrusa da festa. Escrita por mim, Lígia Pereira Boldori, e ilustrada por Pedro Guerreiro. Our story today is Miss Cavity, the spoil sport. Illustrated by Pedro Guerreiro and written by me. Let's go! Have a story time! In Kingdom, far, far away, between the highlands and the sea, known as the Carapassa Hills, there, were, there used to live a very happy little prince. <laughs> Call it Luca. Son of King Kaku and Queen Lila, Luca loved to play with his best friend, Boleto, the armadillo, in the royal orchard. There is a huge avocado tree, which made a pleasant shadow. This was Luca's favorite spot to play, as it was always really hot during that time of the year. That season was very special to Luca. It was the month that the little prince celebrated his birthday. It was a long-awaited event by everyone in the kingdom and the surrounding lands. Everyone was invited to the big birthday picnic party, celebrated at the beautiful and flowerful royal garden. Dad, King Kako, Mom, Queen Lila, I'm so happy. This is my eighth picnic, isn't it? <laughs> Said the beaming little Prince at Wiley, checking the invitation list with his parents. Yes, my dear son, this is already your eighth picnic. You return eight soon, answered the happy and proud royal parents. The night before Luca went to bed, while he was brushing his teeth, he looked at himself in the mirror and felt really thankful for having such a healthy smile. He was proud of having his two front teeth, the permanent central incisors. There were so big and ready. Luca really liked his food and he knew that to taste it well, he had to have a good munch. And most precisely, he had to have a strong and healthy teeth. Brushing his teeth every meal wasn't just a chore, but for the little prince, it was a delight. The days passed, and so expected day of the picnic party arrived. The royal garden was specially decorated for the occasion by the fountain of the Thousand Wishes. There was a table set with jars of fruit juices and shakes. Next to the lover's bench, another table was set with lots of different kinds of fruits. Mm, pineapple, apple, orange, mango, banana and pear which was Luca's favorite fruit. They were arranged as a pyramid of fruits. The 
guests, the guests started coming and little by little the royal garden turned into a very happy place filled with joy little princes from the neighboring kingdoms princesses from near and far came and also the children from the village who were always in charge of the music and fun the party was lots of fun balloons music games and uh, lots of sweets <laughs> it seems that the girls and boys prefer the huge table set in the center of the garden where the giant birthday cake was laid chewing gums muffins lollipops jellies chocolate bars marshmallows mm. so many treats but King Kaku was worried because he knew that the evil Miss Cavity was on the loose, waiting redly for someone to forget about the rules of healthy eating and good oral hygiene. Miss G, the tooth fairy, observed everything around while he was flying above the fountain of the Thousand Wishes and drinking her yummy strawberry and mint shake. No fruits were eaten at this hour, yet sweets have been devoured. No one can deny that she is certainly nearby. This boy sport is coming, fast, strong and cunning, said the fairy. Is scared and assured of the consequence that too much sugar would bring to the young guests. Huh. And it was not long. Suddenly, a screaming shout and cry for help could be heard. <gasps> In seconds, cows broke loose among the guests who were running and crying under the unbearable pain and their tummies was especially dirty. <sighs> Dolor! <laughs> Complained Juanito, the little prince from a neighboring kingdom. To fairy, please tell me, what's the matter with my guests? Asked the puddlet prince. Dear Prince Luca, I will always be here to explain. Brushing your teeth and following my rules are good habits to maintain. They ate many sweets. There were no limits set. But eating fruits and healthy snacks, they did indeed forget. Warned the fairy. Watch out! There she is, Miss Cavity! cried Charlotte, the little princess from the Cheese Tower Kingdom, in great terror. Dressed in a stinky cape that smelled of bad breath and with her hands full of bacteria raised the evil miss cavity was running around and firing against everyone everywhere those were rays filled with decay aimed at the children's mouth causing pain terrible ones almost Joined by her smelly teeth, gremlins, the panritas, 
We're running all around spreading bacteria and bringing pain to everyone. In a fast and faultless fly, the dove very hastily headed to the heart of the village looking for help. She landed at Dr. Bright Smiles Dental Office and explained the whole situation to the dentist, who answered it straight away. What a shame, Mrs. G. We can never ever exaggerate on sweets. Brushing our teeth straight after eating is also very important. I guess that Lucas guests forgot about it. But don't worry, you don't worry. I have a solution for this dental problem. Guaranteed dentist. Dress it in his anti-smell mask and keep with a super turbo drill that eliminates all cavities. Dr. Bright Smiles flew to the party with his super cape that is smelled of toothpaste. With his super turbo drill, the dentist defeated the evil spool sport, Miss Cavity, and drove her out of the party at all once. So the children had their lesson and learned that they should not eat too many sweets and they should always, always brush their teeth. Dr. Bright Smile also reminded them of the importance of visiting him once in a year so he could help look after their teeth keeping the wicked Miss Cabot far away from their smiles. From then on, with the lessons learned, Prince Lucas' birthday party was filled once again with great fun. The fruits were enjoyed and the sweets avoided. In that kingdom, no one else has ever eaten too many sweets at a party. They now knew if they brushed their teeth after every meal, they would keep the wicked Miss Cabot far away from their teeth. Plain, plain, plain. And their smiles shone clean and healthy in that kingdom happy ever after. The end. And so on, our story time is out here. See you next time. Até a próxima história.